Hi guys, it's your a math person. Today I'll be going over question 168 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try to palm yourself. Okay, that's me attention. Let's just dive right in. So let A be the event that a number rolled on the die is odd. So let's say this is A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And let this is B. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the probability that a number you roll is odd is just one half, right? Because you have one, three, five, so three out of six. Like likewise, the number on the blue die is still the same. And the C is the event the sum of the numbers roll on the dice is odd. So let's say if this is A and B, the sum here is one plus one is two, two plus one is three, three plus one is four, so and so on. So the odd ones would be first here, 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 right? Six plus one seven. And likewise, it's going to be here, here, and here. I don't know if you guys can kind of see the pattern, but this is exactly just 18 over 36, which is just equal to 1 half. So this probability right here is 1 half as well. So now the question is basically just summed up to are these mutually independent or are, and also are these pairs independent? So in order to find independence, we know we can just do our independence formula, probability of A and B is equal to probability of A times probability of B. So we can check these for each of them. So probability of A and B, so that's the intersection, the probability of both A and B are odd. So is one and one odd? Yep, that works. Two and one, nope, only B is odd. This one, both are odd, both are odd. This one, none of them, because two is not odd right here. 3 and 1, this one, and this one, as well as anything with 4 doesn't work. We know 5 and 1 is both odd. This one's odd, and this one's odd. So that looks like 9 out of 36 is equal to probability of A, which is 1 half, times probability of B, which is 1 half. 9 out of 36 we know to be equal to 1 fourth. So 1 fourth is indeed 1 fourth. So we know A and B are independent what how about b and c so b and c probably b and c is one half times one half so you know this has to equal one fourth on the left hand right hand side but let's figure out on this on your map i'll use green here probably b probably b is odd so b is odd and the sum is odd so b is odd and sum is odd right here right three works 4 plus 1 is 5, so this one is odd, 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 odd. And we know these column worked here too. So that's exactly 9 out of 36 again. 9 out of 36, which we know is equal to 1 fourth. Check. And then lastly, probability of A and C. We know probability of A and C is probably just probability of A times probability of C, which we know it has to add up to one fourth. And then so let's look at where A is odd and B, C is just adding up to three. So one is odd, but two doesn't add up to odd. But one plus two, three, three is, so it's going to be these ones here, one, two, three. So we know that exactly these are still, um, 9 out of 9 over 36. So we know these are all independent. So exactly all the pairs are independent. That's not it. Exactly one of the pair is independent. Nope, that's not it either. None of the pair is independent. That's not true. So now we're just trying to see are A, B, C mutually independent. So mutually independent means can, can all three events happen at the same time? So we know that A and B can happen at the same time, right? A is odd and B is odd. So that's like a is odd, B is odd, so I'll just highlight them, like these ones, A is odd and B is odd, so it's going to be these ones, the blue ones, but do these sum add up to odd? Nope, because the sum add up to 2, 4, and this will be 6, and so on and so on, so we know the sum does not add up to odd, so we know that A, B, and C cannot happen at the same time, so these are not mutually independent, so making it the answer A. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!